Welcome back to the My Player, everyone. Thank you very much indeed for your continued support on this save. I know it's not as popular as the full manager saves, but I'm thoroughly enjoying the My Player this year, especially considering we're at Cambridge United to start it. So I want to make sure I make a note of my appreciation for those of you that continue to show this series support every single day. We shall try and justify that support by putting in a good performance. We actually had three games in the last episode where we dropped to the subs bench and worked our way, earned our way back to the starting 11. We hope to continue that today with a game against Cheltenham in the league, followed by Plymouth in the cup. We are not far away from the playoffs now. Just three points is the gap up to sixth place. And we do have lofty ambitions for this Cambridge United side. If we don't get promoted, I will probably end up leaving for the sake of the series. But if we do get promoted, then we will stay at Cambridge and it hopefully will extend our opportunities at the club for the save. One goal from outside the box. Team possession rate of 55%. None of those are really that achievable, to be honest. I'll go for the team possession rate, but not massively confident against Cheltenham, who are a very capable side, and we're away from home. We don't tend, as a team, to have that much possession. We do occasionally boss it, but away from home, it's not expected. A win, however, is expected. And I would very much like to get the three points to put us even potentially closer to the playoffs in League One this season. All given away. Play me in. Oh, I think I might have just been offside anyway. Brophy's in. He'll probably play it on the floor. Digby shoots. Saved by the keeper over the bar. Time for a corner then. Worth an effort there from Paul Digby. That's not going to reach me. Oh, it is going to reach me. Good try, it says. Is that another corner? It is. Always under hit, though. Like, oh, and then... They're always under hit, and then when you move to the place where they under hit it, it doesn't go there. <laughs> Digby, O'Neill, Tracy, to me, out of my feet, on target, but straight at the keeper, not with the power to catch him off guard at his near post. Oh, it's really poor from Cheltenham. Is that a foul? It is apparently in their favour. Hmm. Not sure about that. Ah, oh, what a ball. Good move. Good save. Cheltenham on the attack on a 5.8 rating at the minute. So looking more than likely a dropping back to the bench if it continues as is. But it's at the minute, it's not because I'm playing particularly poorly. It's the whole, it's difficult to get a good match rating thing. Try and get that. Oh, I should have played it through the air maybe to try and reach Shiloh Tracy. Now I am playing poorly. Broom with the flick. Alfie May scored the winner against Cambridge in real life in this exact fixture. And hopefully he won't do something similar today. Dimmy with a good save. Comfortable save, to be fair. Daniel Adzed into Williams. Alfie May holds it up well. Collado's effort needed saving. Couldn't be kept in. It's a corner Cheltenham. We've had a couple of our own. Now it's their turn to go on the offensive. Out muscling the man that was near me. Please get to that first. Dunk flicks it on. Zeno manages to poke it away. Shiloh not quite got the pace to get to that, but does have the strength to hold off the defender when he gets there. So we'll win possession back. Quickly forward to Adame. Are we getting a counter-attack of sorts here? I think we are. We'll look for Adame. He's looked for Shiloh Tracy, but kicks it straight at the defender. And the counter-attack is dead. But can we just have a regular attack? Go on, Shiloh. Make me the run, mate. We'll use Willow. Then he could maybe go to Shiloh. It's drifted offside, but back into me here. We've got numbers. We've got numbers forward. Adame's made a great run. I'm trying to make one of my own. Touch his port. Or heavy at least. Shiloh Tracy's in. He has the shot. Williams wins the header. And O'Neill wins it back. Does he? No. Given away again. Can we win that back? No. It looks like it's going to be nil-nil at half time here against Cheltenham. But there have been opportunities for both teams at both ends. And we might end with one here. Looking through for Shiloh. But the pass, unfortunately, doesn't find its target. It will be goalless at half time. Oli Inka. Out to Jackson. Back to Oli Inka again. Jackson into the middle, away by Zeno. I should win this. I've done well. Nodded it to Adam May. O'Neill, Adam May, O'Neill again. Don't mind us keeping possession in scenarios like that, but we are a little bit risky with it sometimes. Shiloh is there. I'll play it to his feet. It's, I think it's most of the time it's me attempting through balls that actually means I lose possession. So I might start just solely trying to pass defeat. 
Didn't call for that. Adam May tried the back heel. Would have been fancy if it came off. It didn't come off. Here's, I think it's Ryan Broom into Daniel Adshead. Formerly a Norwich. Might be on loan. Might be a permanent change. Alfie May gives that away. And the ball will come forward for us. O'Neill to Adam May. Into me. But the defender gets there first. O'Neill looking for me. And again, the defender gets there first. Possession changing hands very quickly. Multiple times here. Williams is in support with Shiloh. But he plays me in. We'll give that short there to Adam May. And he will squeeze it to Digby. I'm going to make a run to try and be found. But there's not much room here. A call for this from Brophy. His cross is blocked. But with a hand. Now this could be a position. To try something sneaky with a free kick. It's a little bit too far down towards the byline though I feel. So I will give it to Brophy. I'll call for it. And I'll try and get myself on the end of it. It's dinked. It's under hit. It's poor. But still, maybe. Shiloh. Digby. And a May! Good save by Southwood. I was hoping that one would come to me. Well flicked on by Maya, but he hasn't actually helped us keep possession there. I am at risk of being subbed out, apparently, although I've not been any worse than anyone else, really. We've had a very even game. Everybody on the fit, everybody on the pitch, on the field, has kind of put in the same level of performance. I've won that header well. Adam May will look for Shiloh and I'll make the run. He's not going to play it though. It's fine. Uh, get there. Oh, I got nailed. And it will be a yellow card for the Cheltenham man. But is that my last action of the game? It is indeed. I'm off. Joey's on. It's the regular change. I didn't get any objectives there. But no, a 6.7 overall, I think, is better than the majority of the rest of the players that are on the field. Ironside will take the free kick. Brophy won't get there. Can we win this and keep the ball alive? We can. Nibsy is off the bench as well, but no goal continually. We stay at nil-nil. Zeno, Digby and Maya. Nibs is on for Shiloh. May could look for Joey Einside. He has found a goal off the bench recently or in the start. There's Digby on the edge of the box here. They could look to and they have. And Digby's shot is looping. Very, very awkward to deal with for the goalkeeper that. And from the corner, did he take a deflection? Did he just try and chip it? I think he just tried and chip him. I mean, it's an odd attempt, but worth a go. It's led to the corner, which might lead to a goal. Adam May tries to flick that on. It hit his arm, and that's the final whistle. It is a nil-nil draw against Cheltenham. I feel like I did enough in that game, compared to the rest of my teammates, to keep my starting position. I think I was third of match ratings there. I had a 6.7. A 7.1 for Ocadina, a 7.6 for Digby and a 7 for Shiloh Tracy. But outside of that, I was right up there. So I'll keep my starting spot for the next game, I think. Some of these objectives are super difficult to get and you can't have much influence on it. Set to get 55% possession, you need your teammates to hold up their end of the bargain. And we did edge possession, but 55% is tough at this level. Match rating of 8.5 is ridiculously difficult to get, as we know, without scoring a bloody hat-trick or something of the like. So it's an FA Cup game, actually, not a Carabao Cup. Our first action in the FA Cup in our career, coming up next against Plymouth Argyle. So it's a favourable draw-ish. It's a team that are in our league. Although, to be fair, at this stage, it's only going to be teams in League 1 and 2, isn't it? Back in the starting lineup, thanks to the training. And we will continue towards that game against Plymouth, where, fingers crossed, we can go on another cup run. We're going well in the Papa John's. We went really well in the Carabao Cup. Let's now create some FA Cup memories, shall we? I can read a book. I'm going to read a, I'm gonna read a book by a club legend. I don't know how many autobiographies there are out by club legends. And the Christmas one will be available in 12 days' time presumably will be very similar to the Halloween one. Let's go and play the game against Plymouth. Away again. This time, hopefully. Goals and a win. Dribble success rate is the one that I can definitely get. So I'll go for that. Again, goals from outside the box. It seems like an odd one to give a striker. It's probably an attacking midfielder more so than a striker that should have the goals from outside the box. Not started well. I'll give them the ball straight to Plymouth. But I will concentrate a bit more moving forward. And uh, we'll make sure that we use possession better. Complained that I can't have much control over a team possession stat. But to be honest, 
the least I can do is make sure that I utilise it when I have it. Lloyd-Jones gives that away, though, and we've done nothing but give the ball away so far in the opening five minutes, but we've at least gotten it back now. Dunk. That's a great ball down the line, and Brophy is in here. No, it's Adam May, in fact, and he's... Oh, nearly found me. We've won it back again. Surely. Oh, over the bar. I put too much on it. Ryan Hardy picks up a yellow for a foul earlier in the game, but I should have buried that. I really should have buried that. At least gotten it on target and forced to save out the keeper. A chance has come. A chance has gone. O'Neill over the top. May can't win the header. It's going to fall to Digby, though. Are we going to get a free kick there? Please. Oh! I really want to score a free kick. I don't think I've scored more than one in FIFA 23 so far, but you don't get many from a position to actually have a genuinely high chance of scoring a goal or higher chance of scoring a goal. Jones forward into Liam O'Neill there who will quickly come to me, try to poke that to uh, Williams, but I was out muscled more so than anything else. Houghton could have a shot from the edge of the box here. He'll look for the pass and they've put it wide just as I should have got my shot on target. Comas should have got his shot on target. Plymouth missed a guilt edge chance as well. Brophy will probably come to me. Hopefully we'll go again. I've asked him to and he will and we'll find him. And he's got Digby there in the middle. And he finds Digby. And Digby's got multiple teammates to find. But just kicks it straight against the man stood next to him. It's not good enough from Paul Digby. Here's Danny Mayer. As Plymouth look to come forward again now. We have played Plymouth in the league this year. And I believe we got a 2-0 victory from it. So we do have previous against them this season to call upon. To try and give us the confidence to push forward and get a result. I'm pretty sure we beat Plymouth in the league. It's a corner for them here. And it's whipped in towards the near post. Dunk wins that header. I'll try and get there and put them under pressure to win it back. We have won it back. Ah, oh, but my pass is under hit. Doesn't find its intended recipient. And that's gone wide of the target by a minimal margin. But thankfully, it is wide of the target. Chances are flowing for both sides here. I really don't feel like I'm on a 5.4. I think that's really super unfair. But it is what it is. Mumba, Comas, Houghton, into Hardy. Goal for Plymouth. They've had nearly 70% possession in the last 15 minutes. We can't say anything other than that goal has been coming. Hardy booked for a challenge earlier on, but he's bounced back and now he's picked up a goal. It's a good finish across into the far corner. We're behind in the FA Cup. At least it's the FA Cup, not a league game, if we are to lose it, but... We'd still like to go on an FA Cup run as well. Need to get a block on it. We're tackling. Defenders pulled out of position here. And it is a second for Plymouth. It looks like we're going out of the FA Cup at this rate. Comas does find the target this time. Lloyd-Jones drawn out of position there when Williams could quite comfortably have dealt with it. And as such, centre-back's out of position. And there's a man free in the middle. It's poor defending from us. Really poor defending from us. Comas tackled by Digby and forward and away. It would be remarkable if we find two goals between now and the end of this game. Brophy for Dunk. Found well. Adam May. I'm trying to get forward. That's a nice ball looking for Nibs. We are in the box here. There are... Come on! You're not just going to run next to the ball and watch it go out, are you? That's stupid. Now I'm going off, and Ironside and Smith are coming on. Oh, I can't believe Harvey's just walked next to the ball there. That's a joke. This is the earliest I've been substituted off as well, which shows the sort of form that we're in. Despite getting a goal in a game yesterday, it's been another frustrating one. But you do have moments like that in your career. We are still one of the best players in the division. We are still one of the top goal scorers and one of the top creative players with regards to assists as well can't, you can't do it every week much as we'd like to potentially just the the papa johns as well this is the second round although you start in the second round on fifa because of the fact that there are no non-league clubs or lower lower league clubs on the game outside of leagues one and two and it's three nil now to plymouth and we're getting hammered in the fa cup we will concentrate on the league and Papa John's Trophy then, shall we, for the rest of this season. 3-0 to the Argyle. 
And out of the FA Cup we go in rather resounding fashion. You can see how much the Plymouth fans are pleased with that. That might put them in a nice money-spinning tie with the Premier League side in the next round. As I was saying to Twitch chat, as the third goal went in, in FIFA, as I'm sure you guys are aware, you start in the second round of the FA Cup in the lower leagues because there are no National League or National League North and South or even further below sides in FIFA. So uh, there is only a finite number of fixtures that can actually draw as such, you start in the second round. Again, it's probably going to be a low match performance. I've already spoken to the manager once. I'm going to thank everyone for their support because we're going to need the fans' support at the minute. Individually, I've not been great in the past few episodes, or past couple of episodes, at least today and yesterday. And as a team, we've not been spectacular. We have played a game more than everybody else at the minute. So we are closer to the playoffs than we were, but soon to be further away again, I would imagine. As we get towards the game against Plymouth, we've got Charlton at home in the cup to come. And yes, yes, we are back down to 10th. And still only three points off the playoffs. So still very much a possibility. And we will hope to continue to have it as a possibility. But I will have to earn my right to play in the starting lineup again. And we will do that tomorrow against Plymouth, hopefully. And then Charlton in the Papa John's. That's all for today. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Do drop the video a like if you've enjoyed and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on more. Your continued support on this save is very much appreciated and I will hope to reward that with better performances moving forward. I'll see you next time.